Well, hey, special welcome back, you Long guys. Long time no see. Long time no see. Uh, we are going over May's budget in this episode of Beers and Budgeting. Stick around. Welcome back. Uh, for those that don't know, of course you don't. But if you don't, I'm Justine and this is my husband, Kyle. So. And we are going over May's budget, our real income and real expenses. We hide nothing. And the whole point of this is to be transparent about our money so that you feel that you can be just as transparent as us. Upload your own video. <laughs> Or not, or just do your budget alongside us in your own home and do it with a beer. I agree with that part. What are we drinking today? Same beer we drank in the last video. Wow. Because we just did the last video like an hour ago. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. So it's a word back to Bortz. It's a uh, dark gnome wizard lager, five and a half percent alcohol. It's a tasty beer. I'm still enjoying it. It reminds me of a porter. Actually, yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, little it's bit. not as heavy as a stout at all. Nope. So it gives you kind of that lightness of a lager, but dark and malty, like a porter or even like a dark ale. That's my two Fantastic cents. Fantastic analysis there. Mm -hmm. So, well, cheers. I like how you're even like holding it by <laughs> the stem. <laughs> mm. So I don't get it mm. warm. The tannins must. Uh, no. There are no tannins in beer. In case anyone was run wondering. Let's go over May, shall we? Yeah. Okay, here we are. Cool. Finally, I feel like we're getting caught up here. It's been a while. Okay, shall we go to the bottom line as Kyle always likes to start off with? Bottom line up front, it's the best way to roll. All right, so what do we actually bring in? $11,116.16. And we have $326 left over. So we stayed under budget. Yes. But we spent a lot of money. Yes. Wow. Okay. Might need another beer after that. That's a lot of money. Tell me more about what happened. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of money that goes out every single month in our fixed expenses. Rent and daycare obviously take up a big chunk of that. $6,400 right off the top. Yep. We were slightly over on our groceries budget this past month. We spent a little bit extra money getting alcohol and more food. My mom visited and I took her to the Shania Twain concert, which was incredible. We went to the Hollywood Bowl. And so we stocked up on, on food and booze. And I think that contributed to the $774 grocery expense. Yep. The good news is, though, everything else that we have in our fixed category was either right on budget or slightly under. That's good. So I'm happy about that. Let's hop over down to the fun. And we were just under budget for restaurants. And I knew that we would have a little bit more restaurant expense since my mom was visiting, we would take her out. And then I also spent a little bit of money at the Hollywood Bowl getting some fun drinks and a Shania Twain t-shirt that actually I was wearing in the April Beers and Budgeting video. I should have swip, 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 swip swapped. I should have swapped out my outfits for that, but anyway. Super fun, loved the venue. It's been on my bucket list to do the Hollywood Bowl for LA, so I got to check that off. And then what else did we do? I feel like we did something else in May. Went to the movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kyle and I have been doing some day dates when he gets the opportunity to do his every other Friday off. And we went and saw the third installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my God. What did you think of the movie? Fantastic. It was so I like, good. I, of all the Marvel series, Guardians of the Galaxy is like, if you don't like Marvel, I'm like, I tell people, at least watch that. Those are good. The storyline's good. It's interesting. It's yeah. funny. It's not cheesy. And it's all about Rocket's backstory. If you don't know who Rocket is, then. 
skip that, but it's so amazing. And we found a movie theater that's close by that's got the Lazy Boy seats and delivers snacks and stuff to your to your seats. So we had a good time doing that. Yep. Uh, gifts. We actually Wait, spent. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Bag it up. It's funny because a lot of these theaters are like, oh, we're going out of business. And then I looked at how much it actually costs us to go to the theater, and I was like, hello, no wonder you're going out of business. Like, it's not like, you know, $10 and you get popcorn, a drink, and a movie. For the two of us, it was 50 bucks. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And that was a slight discount because we bought a AMC bundle from Costco. Yeah, and we went to the 11 o'clock showing. I'm just like, you know, don't don't complain to me about your problems when they're slapping you in the face. So I don't care if your theater fails when you charge prices like that. Wow, yeah, bold. It is bold. Like, take your greed and shove it up your tailpipe. Anyways, back. That's my rant. Anyone else want to rant about how expensive movies are anymore? Feel free. Let's do it. Okay. I want to hear them all. So, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Smirking, sure. So we spent a little bit of money on inside of our clothing budget, but not much. I bought a top and some earrings for my concert. You bought some ties. Good to go. We actually spent quite a lot of money on gifts in May. For Mother's Day, we had gifts. Oh, teacher appreciation, we had gifts. And parents anniversary. We had gifts. Lots and lots of gifts going out. So I feel, and I know the reason why we increased our budget is because things like this happened throughout the year last year that we didn't plan yeah. for. And then when we got to Christmas time, we're like, oh, wait a second, we're going to have to fund this a little bit more because we want to spend on Christmas gifts. So planning ahead for that. So just thinking about that for as we approach the second half of this year. Okay, what else? Subscriptions, 20 bucks out of our subscription sinking fund, no problem. Let's go down to our future category and start updating people on our savings goals. The first one is our down payment slash home upgrades fund, where we automatically save $1,000 every single month, but we also have the price savings that's turned on with Ally Bank. And this past month, they put 600 extra dollars into our down payment fund with Ally. So we are now sitting at a combined $169,000 towards our down payment. And that does include a brokerage account with Vanguard. I'm really, really excited about this. I feel like home ownership is so close, yeah. yet so far away. I know. But we are in a really good position with our down payment fund, I will say. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it's a dream amount of money. It's, uh, it's cool. It's really cool. Really thankful for where we're at financially with that. And for sure. It's, uh, it's gonna be fun buying a house, I hope. I hope we don't buy and then the market crashes and then we're underwater, but. We'll see. Well, that's my melancholy statement for that. <laughs> no, don't bring it down, man. Bring it down. Don't bring it down, bring it man. down. We're just going to crash that thing right into... Let's get back to our other savings goals. We've been pulling money out of the vacation fund because we've been taking some trips back home more recently. And I have a feeling we're gonna, going to do it again, which we need to discuss for this upcoming month. Quinn's college fund is at $6,700 in her 529 plan. Oh, that's good. Which is awesome. Right. It's gone up actually quite a bit from the previous month. So why don't you go ahead and update us on your stash and your Robin Hood balances. I just updated my Betterment and my Robin Hood balances and both of those have gone up from the previous month. Let me see. From April, yeah, Betterment was 3200 and Robinhood was 4300 and now I'm at 3600 and 4700 on both of those accounts. So both of those have gone up. Mine's at $19,785. Oh, yeah. 21 cents. That's gone up nicely. Mm-hmm. Okay, Weeble is at $1,780 and 59, 57 cents. So that's oh, gone. 53 cents. 51 cents. Oh. 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 Wow, it's going down yeah. as we are talking about this and filming it. That so. happens. As we say to Quinn, that happens. Yeah, accidents happen. 
Oh no, what happened? <laughs> no, what happened? That's what she says. And it's so funny. Oh no, what happened? Uh, stash is at $1,135.30. And then I updated all of my IRAs for my retirement accounts and actually all of those balances have increased from the previous month. So I was really happy about that. Where's your car fund? Did we take that out a long time We ago? did. We took it out because we're not actively saving for it. But I guess we. I have my Roth IRAs in here, or my IRAs that I'm not actively contributing to, except for the SEP. I am contributing to that. And what, you got the car in a high-yield savings account? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, more recently, Kyle and I had discussed about using that money to go ahead and purchase the Wrangler. <laughs> we were like, life is too short. Let's... Just buy an old Wrangler, one that we can easily just leave the top yeah. off of and just not worry about. Yeah. The kind that you're like, if someone threw their trash in it, I wouldn't care. Uh, the kind that you're like a little scared to go over 45 miles an hour with. So it's more like just getting from here to the beach and back and calling it a day. Yeah. So. But we haven't really been actively searching on Facebook Marketplace or any other website for used Wranglers. I did once after we initially talked about it, but I haven't really looked back since. Yeah. So basically what we are saying to the universe is we are open to a Wrangler. And if we just so happen to stumble across it while we're online and it's a great deal, then we're gonna jump on it. Yep. All right. You also had a lot of expenses come through on your work expenses stuff. So I was just making a note of that here to the side since that really doesn't, it does impact our personal budget, but you get reimbursed. Yeah. So I actually just saw the reimbursement for all of your conferences come through today, oh, today nice. or yesterday. It was a lot of money. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that because it covers, more than covers the $1,600 you spent from May and $1,700 from April. Because a lot of times you're putting your hotel and conference tickets on our credit card, which is great for us building up rewards points. Yeah. So all that to be said, I also want to take a minute because now I'm going back up here and looking at our monthly take home, which was close to our planned $11,000. More recently, I have changed my payroll for my business. So instead of being a sole proprietor, I'm now officially an LLC, which means I am now on payroll and I get taxes automatically deducted from my paycheck. Super fun. And now, <laughs> that take home pay is actually been reduced significantly because I've been investing more money back into my business. So this is a temporary thing. And as I'm working on investing in things like branding and coaching that this is going to pay off in the future. So I'm really excited. Lots of fun things going on with DFM. I feel like there's a big under construction sign on my business and that's reflective in the take-home pay right now, so. Yeah, I'm not worried about it because here's the thing is like, we, we have our fixed expenses covered. And if you scroll down, I don't know how to scroll on a Mac. I need to go down. Uh, okay, so if you go down here, you see that we've got, I don't know, off the top of my head, it looks like 1,500 bucks that we could easily say, all right, let's pause this 1,500 bucks if we're really short on our take-home. So right now, that's being deducted. Looks like we have 300 and some dollars left at the end of this month because you're not paying yourself as much. It's like, well, technically we still have $1,500 of wiggle room there if we really needed to stretch that. So I'm still okay with it. If it got anything lower than that, I'd start to kind of go, mm. ooh, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, you're right. And not to mention, we didn't even talk about touching any of our discretionary spending. We were talking about the savings component. So oh, yeah. some of this stuff could also be reduced too. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat a lot of uh, rice and beans and tuna noodle casserole. And let me just tell you, I made the best batch of rice last night. I know, it seems like a weird thing to brag about, but it was really good. <laughs> it was so good. I don't know. It was so good. So, yeah, I had talked to you. I was like, I'm feeling like money is tight. And you know us, if you've been watching the channel for a while, 
we do with our personal budget have a lot of financial confidence because we are able to be transparent with each other and talk about our income and expenses and where we want to go planning for those financial goals together and working side by side on that when it came to my business finances that's where I actually became a little bit more intimidated because the whole language around revenue versus profit, factoring in expenses and taxes, it's just a different ball game. And honestly, for me, a different mentality that I really want to work on and develop. And I think that's been reflective here where I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm doing some big changes in the business that I've never done before. And so the unknown is scary, but I'm really glad that you've recognized that the investments are definitely worth it. And we're gonna see a big payoff in that in the long run. So if this sounds all cryptic to you, just continue, subscribe to the channel and you'll get all of the updates. <laughs> and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and how things will transform over time. But the goal is still to help you and guide you to financial confidence that leads to more fun and less payments. So if you're not part of the family, go ahead and hit subscribe. Before we leave though, we have $300 here and we also, from our April beers and budgeting, had about $800 left over in the April budget. So we've got a combined 1,100-ish dollars of money to play around with, put towards a goal. What would we like to do? What do you, what do you feel like? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? One Beers and Budgeting episode, this feels like a long time ago, we had talked about opening up a separate account for Quinn, separate from the 529 plan which I don't know if that's a UGMA or if we just funnel that money into our brokerage account and we have control mm -hmm. over that and then move it to her whenever we feel like it. What are you thinking? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. Cause I, I want to start one for her. I just don't know. I need to research a little bit more on what to, what to invest in, what to look at. Yeah. So we can talk about that one. Is that a happy hour conversation? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I can do that. Okay. Any other like goals or places or things? No, I mean, just back towards the down payment again. And I don't know what the car expense is going to look like if we end up buying a car. You know, there's always like the taxes and fees and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at in, in my thinking. Uh, yeah. As far as like the down payment goes, like I really think also, we need to look at what we're going to pay for a house because it'd be nice to like put down the 20% and say if you buy a $700,000 house, that's going to be 140k for the down payment to get you to that 20%. And then we'd have right now what 29,000 left over for all the closing costs and like, you know, if someone put tile on their countertops, I'm ripping it out before I move in. People are insane who do that. I'm calling you out. You've done a lot of call outs. Yeah. In Grout this on video. your countertop? Come on. No, not at all. Yeah. Anyways, so like, you know, upgrade, simple things like that. Because we have that upgrade desired list that we want to make for our house, right? So we need to make sure that we have the money to cover those. And not that we need to like have it move in ready the day that we move in, but yeah. we do need to have an account for that. And a priority of what you want to upgrade. A lot of people told us in a previous beers and budgeting video that if you can factor in costs for painting and for flooring, doing before. that ahead of time before you move in is actually going to be really helpful and reduce the headache. So yep. thank you for those suggestions. What else? Oh, yes, we talked about going home for 4th of July. We have not booked those tickets. We no. both have significant amount of points on our Southwest accounts, but we haven't been really happy with Southwest lately. So are we gonna go ahead and just bite the bullet and use up the points? Are we gonna go with a different airline? We'll figure that out. I don't know. And in just a couple of weeks, I'm getting ready to go to Vegas, actually yeah. next week, for some training. And Kyle gets to join me at the end of the training. Yeah. And we're gonna stay on the strip, which is gonna be so fun. Be fun. And a much needed trip without kids. If you know, you know. It's a vacation now. It is a vacation. <laughs> And with kids, it's just a trip. <laughs> so fun times for all. Is there anything else? That trip, 
talking about 4th of July, your birthday. Nobody cares. Let's skip that. <laughs> and Father's Day are both happening in June. So we got to talk about plans and what you want to do for those. Y yay. <laughs> As you can tell, he's a big fan of birthdays. I love birthdays. Mm -hmm. Anyways. All right. That's a wrap for our May budget and future planning for June. I'm really happy to see that we are still making things work while kind of going through some like behind the scene changes, which is exciting a little scary but exciting yay yes okay that's it all right shall we go do happy hour yeah all right we'll catch you in the next video and as always if you like this video give it a big thumbs up thumbs up a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and content on how to live financially confident we'll catch you in the next one thanks